for this episode of the College and Career Readiness Podcast. Today, we are joined by our special guest, Lindsay Tillinghast. She is an Intercom alumni currently attending UC Santa Barbara. But before we get started our interview, oh. before we start our interview, remember to take control of your future. Join the California Army, National Guard, and serve your community during local and state emergencies. You're, you'll earn marketable skills, earn a paycheck, and get money for school. Contact Surgeon Aquino today at 916-233-7615. So, Lindsay, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So, before we get started, just tell us a little bit about yourself and, like, your major. All right. Well, my name is Lindsay, and I go to UCSB. I'm a comm major, but I'm also looking to double with political science, so I'm working on that right now. And I'm really interested in getting a journalism certificate, so that's definitely something that I want to pursue next year. And I'm in a sorority, I'm a part of the radio station at my school, and go to the beach a lot, just a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun, involved in a lot. So we're going to get back to UCSB, but before we get started, how was your experience at Intercom? I definitely took advantage of everything that Intercom has to offer, and I really enjoyed it. Getting involved with leadership and being in the broadcast program, and then obviously the podcast was also a highlight of my high school period, and I met a lot of really great friends doing that, so and I was part of the cheer team, dabbled in the swim team for a week. Um, that was fun. <laughs> so I don't know. I really enjoyed my experience here at Intercom. And how would you say that it shaped you and like the how it affected what you chose as your major? I definitely think that Intercom offered a lot of great communication experience because I think that it's a really great way to bring so many different people together and you get to communicate with such a diverse group of people that it prepares you for a larger like demographic out in the real world, especially as a comm major where you need to know how to communicate with a variety of people from high schoolers to adults to professionals, I think that it just really widened my understanding of other people. And what advice would you give to current seniors? Um, I would definitely say to just follow your heart. I feel like it's so cheesy, but just do what's going to make you happy. Go where your passion is and just really like take the time in college to find yourself because the world is so much bigger than high school because high school is so small. When you get to college, there's so many different people. There's such a wide variety of things to get involved in, so I would definitely recommend taking advantage of every opportunity that's presented to you. So with that being said, do you feel that there's anything that you wish Intercom would have provided for you? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I think that what really... Um, made my experience at Intercom even better was the introduction of the broadcast program and CCR because those were definitely areas that I wanted to explore more of media and technology and growing those types of knowledge for the professional world. So for me, that really made my experience so much better, but I can't speak on behalf of someone who's more interested in sports or more interested in art, but I'm sure that they would have things that they would have loved to add. Yeah, I agree. I feel like we're very similar in that way. Yeah. Um, So how is your college experience going right now? I love it. Going to college has just been such a dream. I'm sad I didn't want to go home. I was like, I love the weather there. It's never cold. So waking up this morning and it's foggy is Mm. weird because I'm wearing shorts every day and it's like 70 degrees out and sunny. Um, I've met so many great people. I definitely would credit that to my experience in joining a sorority, and that's been a lot of fun. So mentioning joining a sorority, I don't hear a lot of people doing that. Tell us a little bit more about your experience rushing and stuff like that. I would definitely 110% recommend if your school has the Greek life, join, do it, put yourself out there, even if it's something that like you wouldn't normally feel that isn't like for you but I think that it could be for everyone there's so many leadership opportunities and that's one of the main like contributors to why I joined Um, my sorority offers a variety of positions in my like calm kind of major Uh, you could be the public relations chair you could be the social media director you could do marketing you could do the recruitment management there's so many opportunities for you to get involved and gain a lot of professional experience to put on your resume 
In the United States Army and Army Reserve, leadership is earned every day. In addition to earning leadership, you can earn up to $80,000 towards your college degree. For more information, contact Staff Sergeant Coom at 916-214-6457. Yeah. So um, how is it attending a UC? It definitely, the academics are much more rigorous than anything that I've ever experienced. Um, but it's not impossible to do good. I mean, I remember looking at Rate My Professor over the summer and saying like, oh, it's so hard to get an A in this class. You're just going to have to memorize all this information. But it's not impossible. You just really have to push yourself and create new study habits. I think that's been the biggest change is just learning how to study. I never really did that in high school. And I came out of the quarter with all A's in my classes. So nice. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, good job. Yeah. So do you feel that you have enough resources there at your school to prosper in your major? I think so. I think that the staff and just the professors in general have been so helpful. I mean, I know that I've only taken three classes, but I've gone to office hours and I've gotten to know a lot of my professors and they're very passionate about the subjects that they teach and I don't doubt that when I get to my upper division courses that I won't find that same support that I'm having now within one quarter. And I definitely think that, again, sorority, you meet a lot of the older girls who are in the same major as you and they have so much advice because they've taken what you've taken and they have the tools to help you succeed, whether it's just buying a textbook for $30 from your friend instead of 100 or knowing, yeah. hey, like, this is how this professor works. This is what you're going to want to do in this class to get a good grade. So coming from Indercom, a school that is so diverse, mm -hmm. how does that compare with UC Santa Barbara? Um, I would definitely say that the demographic is different than here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I do wish that I could bring some of what I experienced here to Santa Barbara because again I think knowing how to communicate with such a wide range of people is important in life because you need that in the professional world like you need to know how to communicate and I think that having that here has definitely made me a better communicator in general. And so I think that that's an important skill that should be on all campuses, not just Intercom. Yeah, I completely agree. So going out broader than just your UC, what is it like living in Santa Barbara? I love it. It's amazing. Again, the weather, I'll never be quiet about that. It's just so great. It's like summer or like app to reach out to people because so there's such a great mix of students where you really get to know each other and everyone's just really excited and like you want to hang out and leave your door open and say hi to everyone. So it's definitely been a great community to be a part of. I would definitely say town. go for it, apply. I don't think that you would ever regret it. It's such an amazing place to live and just be. The culture, the environment, everyone is very laid back and personable, and you're never going to meet someone who doesn't want to get to know you. Do you ever feel that it might be distracting? And I think that living that's in such, such a great like a environment to be a part of. I don't know if Busy it's city? distracting, but it definitely is not great for my bank account because I spend <laughs> too much money on coffee. Thank you, you really too. a coffee shop that all my friends and I like to go to, and we study there. Um, if anything, I think that the area has made me a better student in a way because I live a mile away from campus, so I have to bike back and forth, which gets kind of annoying. So it forces me to stay on campus and get a lot of my work done. So in between classes, I'll tend to go into IB, find a place to study, get what I need to do done for the day, and then that way when I go back to my dorm, I can kind of just relax and like not have to worry about homework. So mentioning living on campus, what is that like? I feel like it would be really fun. Oh, yeah. So my dorm, we're the, like, freshman tower, so FT, and we're a mile away from campus. It's kind of like its own little island, in a way, from all the other on-campus dorms. But it's really nice. We have our own pool, our own gym, our own dining commons, and it's co-ed, so I think that a lot of the kids are more, like, apt to reach out to people because – there's such a great mix of students where you really get to know each other and everyone's just really excited and like you want to hang out and leave your door open and say hi to everyone. So it's definitely been a great community to be a part of. Yeah. So lastly, for any of our listeners that are interested in UC Santa Barbara, what would you tell them? What was some advice you'd give them or something like that? I would definitely say go for it, apply. I don't think that you would ever regret it. It's such an amazing place to live and just be. 
the culture, the environment, everyone is very laid back and personable and you're never going to meet someone who doesn't want to get to know you or doesn't want to be your friend. And I think that that's such a great environment to be a part of. Well, thank you so much, Lindsay, for coming out here today. We really enjoyed talking to you and good luck on the rest of your first year of college.